Welcome to another exciting video showcasing OpenWRT on our TP-Link TLWR902ACV4. But first, let's ensure our router is up to date. We'll start by upgrading it with the latest sysupgrade image. Simply download the file and install it using the router's built-in image flasher. Navigate to the downloaded file, select it, and then click on Flash Image. While we wait for the image to flash, let's take a moment to discuss the purpose behind today's video. So, today we're diving into expanding the capabilities of this compact router by introducing a feature called USB tethering. Let's explore how to unlock new functionalities and maximize the potential of this device together. Before that, let's just first configure our V4 router's password. Once that's done, here I will show you two ways to install our K-Mod files for enabling USB tethering on our device. First by using SSH, change the default port to something else for obvious security reasons and hit save and apply. On a new tab, search and download PuTTY our SSH client. Install and open. Enter the router's IP address and the port we just changed. Click open. Accept and a terminal window will open. Enter router's login as root and the password we just made. Hit Enter. This web page is the reference for this video. All resource links will be in the description below. First, we will navigate to System, then Software, and click Update List. It will download a small list. Here, just like in the earlier video, we will install 2K mod files. Remember we enabled SSH. The same can be done using the terminal and these are its command. In here, we will simply copy the names and install one after another. This process will take time. After completion, connect your Android phone with your router using the USB port shown here. Select USB tethering on the smartphone and follow along. Here we will navigate to Network, then Interface and Select Devices tab. Here we can see our USB interface suggesting successful K-Mod installation. Next, we will add a new interface with a custom name and assigned device as USB 0. Click Create Interface. A new pop-up will open. Select Firewall Settings and assign WWAN in it. Click Save. Now, save and apply. Here, we are already connected to the internet via router using RJ45. We can check by going to google.com. Next, for sharing our tethered connection with the router's 5 GHz Wi-Fi, we will go to network, then wireless and edit the configuration as shown. First name the Wi-Fi, then set password. It is important to add interface WAN LAN and USB to the same network for ease of open WRT access, in both wired and wireless. Hit save. Enable. Congratulations, we have successfully set our router for a smartphone tethered internet both wired and wireless. All there is left is to check our work.
In my speed test, I'm pleased to report that I'm getting my full cellular speeds, perfectly suited to my geographical area. However, one annoyance I encounter is the ads. In my next video, I'll tackle this issue by installing an ad blocker directly onto this router. Stay tuned for that. Until then, take care and goodbye.